today we're going to be working on a 2022 GI Triglide. connector and that is part number 69201599A. This is a <clears throat> set for 27 and later touring but make sure with your parts department and make sure you get the right one. Every one of these are different. If you look at the instructions it'll tell you for each year. The instructions are pretty vague as far as what you need to do. Kind of shows you where your different connections are and the soft tails. You're going to be using this connection underneath the left side cover on the touring. You'll be using this connection on the right side cover. And so basically going to be disconnecting this from a dummy socket and connecting <clears throat> into this socket right here. And then you're going to be connecting this into the back side of this plug here and connecting it onto the positive side of your battery cable or excuse me your battery and that allows you to feed power into your grips now what's going to be interesting we'll find out when we get there i may have to uh, extend this power cord to reach this but i'm not sure uh, it's possible because i'm saying that because i do have 14 inch bars on this bike you know, the stock bars are seven and a half inch and they only come up to about right here. And now we've got the 14s on here. So I might have to end up extending that power cord. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the seat, and the tank removed and uh, get most of the fairing out of the way so we can get down to the nitty gritty. And I'm hoping with some luck, I won't have to pull the bars off, but there's a good chance I may have to because I've got to feed the, uh, two cables from the left side <clears throat> down through this side and then hopefully I won't have to pull the cables out on that side because there's a port that goes into the throttle by wire that you got to connect that goes and gives the power to the passenger side. So on that note I'm going to go into some time lapse here that way we can get everything broke down and get started on this install. All right, so here we go. As you can see, I got the side cover, seat, and tank out of the way. And we come down here and said this is for the 22 Triglide. Uh, I think it may go back to 2017 and later because they changed all the wiring up. On my 2014, my heated grips actually just plug into a plug up underneath the fairing, but apparently these later models, they're a little different. So we find this plug right here. And mine was actually not where it was supposed to be. It was hanging down as if they forgot to plug it in. So we got to get up here and release this plug. So it's just on a dummy cover. Then what we're going to do is we'll have to pop these retainers loose here. As we have to pull this plug out of this number three hole and put this uh, power cable in place of it. So see what we got to do here to pop this cover off. We'll pull this white piece off of here. Just like so. We should be able to push this plug out. 
Let's see now. I think we're going to have to pop this retainer off the back here. Okay, so we got that locking tab out of the way. Should be able to push this out just like so. Back in play here. All right, so a little, it takes a little bit of finagling, but you just shove your uh, battery wire off of this connector into the empty third slot through your retainer clip. Then there's a silicone weather seal in there. You push it through there. Then once you get it through that silicone slot, you lock this locking plate back down. You see you've got all three of your wires in place. Wick it around a little bit until they get lined up properly. And then we've got to get this put back in there. Just like so. So once we got that battery cable here in place, we're going to end up fishing it through the opening here up to our battery. And we'll do that here in just a little bit. So what we're going to do with this one, this is your other portion of it. You're going to end up plugging into this three port here. Just like so. I said this is for different accessories. If you happen to have like a heated seat or something of that nature. So you're going to put this dummy plug in, make sure it stays closed up. Same thing here, has a dummy plug, is what we're after, is these three wires here. Now you have a purple wire, which I'm guessing is ignition, then your ground, and then your positive for your battery. So what we're going to do with this, is we're going to fish this lead under the frame, and up under here. Because we're going to be routing the wires for the grips down through the center tunnel to make this connection. All right, so now we got this accessory cable up here. We're going to feed these other wires back up into here and tuck them out of the way. There's a pretty good little space in here to make use of. You just literally want to get them out of the way in case you have another accessory that you'd like to use at a later date. So what we're going to do here is we're going to feed this one through so we can get it over to our battery terminal. What I'm going to have to do here in just a little bit is I'm going to pull this cover off of this battery. So I can get this up in there and get it attached to the battery positive terminal. There we go, we got that fed up through there. So I'm going to end up pulling the ECU out, lifting the battery cover out of the way when we get this attached to the battery. Might even want to consider pulling off this dead socket here, just like so, and that'll give you a little bit more room in here. All right, so there's a dead socket that was on our original cable. That'll give us room to tuck that one right there out of the way. All right, and there we go. So there's where we're going to connect our heated grip power cord to. And then this is going to go over to our positive on the battery. So I'll get that hooked up. Then we'll move up to the front and see what we got to do up there. All right, so what I'm going to do now is get these grips off of both sides.
that. A lot of people panic when it comes time to remove this little switch here. All you got to do is lift it up a little bit, and then it slides forward off of there, usually, just like so. And then at that point, we need our torch. So you're going to take this and set it out of the way here. Cover separates off. Set it aside. Your back cover. Set it aside. And then what we've got is a little snap clip here. We've got to find and release it. Which is right there. And you set this down out of the way. All right, and that's pretty much that it. And then your grip. I'm gonna get this paracord off of here. any luck they didn't glue it so bad as to make it a problem to come off. It should just, yeah, it could be my problem is I got a lot of tension on with this paracord. I remember when I put these bars on, it slid on pretty easy, so I bet this paracord's got a lot of tension on it. There we go. All right, so there's a stock grip off. So the next thing we got to do is we've got to feed these two wires in through here. And it looks like I'm going to have enough, hopefully. Here to there, to there. Yes, good. I'm going to have enough to come out. So once it comes out, we're going to plug in this cable into the plug that comes in off your throttle by wire that gives your power to your heat on that side. And then this is going to be your power cord. This can end up, we're going to feed in back here to the battery. So I need to get a cable or something up in through this bar to where we can attach these wires to and get them pulled through. All right, so yeah, it's definite. I'm going to be wiring these external because <clears throat> I'm just not going to mess with pulling the pins and everything out of these wires to get them to the bars. You know, I've already got my other wires external like the factory was, so that's what we're going to do. So we need to get this back on there. Like so. If you would notice that the, this grip only goes on one way, it'll lock in to where everything's level. So I'm going to take this side. Put it up under here like so. Make sure none of your wires are getting pinched over here. All right, so that'll work like that. Right, so I need my rear cover and my front cover. That out of the way. Slide our front cover on there. You know, and on these newer bikes, there's no need to uh, put any glue on your hand grips because they uh, are held in place by this cover. Clutch lever over, get it lined up. <clears throat> All right, so let's see if I can route these right along with these and still have enough slack. Looks like it might be better off just going directly to the bars and then over. And over. Yeah, that'll work couple of zip ties. Here like so. So 
and then we find that plug again. It goes off to our left side and plug this in, just like so. And then we got left our power cord. All right, and as far as the power cord goes, let's see here. All right, this is the power cord that they supply. And as uh, we might have just enough. Let's see here. Let's pull this back up here. up here yeah so it looks like that I might have to put a little bit of an extension on this if I can't get some more slack up out of here but then I do have actually outstanding actually I do have a power extension that came in the kit Make sure everything lines up the same here. Okay. Yes, red to red, black to black. Outstanding. We're done. Okay, so yes. All right, so there is an extension in the kit. It allows you to extend your power cable by about another 10 inches, it looks like. So I end up putting that in there. Make sure the wires line up properly. I'm going to plug it in. Yes. Yeah, so that's going to give us plenty of wire now. So what I'm going to do is get this back up here. And I'm going to pop this cover open and feed this wire down in here until it pops out the other end. And then it's just a matter of hooking up the battery cable and tapping into here. And they do provide you with crimp connectors to hook into here. All right, so I went ahead and pulled the battery cover off and got my power cord for the harness connected. Be sure whenever you're messing around down here uh, with electrical connections, underneath your left side cover, pull your main fuse. That way it kills power to everything uh, just on a safety measure. And I went ahead and routed my power cord for the heated grips through the tunnel here. Got all that put back in place. So here's this. And here's the wires coming up for the uh, accessory kit that we plugged in earlier. So we've got red and black. Red and black. And I think this is a purple, which should be keyed. But it recommends the instructions go directly to red and black here. So you need to make sure... And if you're running your grips, I'm going to verify once you get it all hooked up. And I'm thinking that this purple wire is for keyed power. And the red one is going to be for constant power. But we'll verify that once we get everything finished up here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to clip these ends off the wires. The kit does provide you with crimp connectors. Actually, both kits do. You get three with this one, two with this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this... Uh, Safety shield back here a little bit to so give me a little more room to work with these wires, just like I did here. And uh, I said I just split it, pull it back a little bit. That way, if need be, you can put it back in place and wrap it up with some tape. These are supposed to be heat shrink connectors. Let's find out if that holds true. Appears they are. To some extent. If it wants to burn instead of shrink. I 
Got a little bit of a breeze going through the garage right now. There we go. Got it sealed up pretty good. Connections are solid. He's melting down. Now we can. <clears throat> we're gonna do is we're going. To, well, we're gonna go ahead. And let's find out. Yeah, I do believe that's gonna be switched power. So what we do for the time being is we're just gonna fold this back into here because I don't have any use for it at the time being. We're gonna put some electrical tape around here to protect this. Wrap that back up there. Get that taped up. All right, so that's it for connecting our electrical connections down at the battery. So now we have to change out the grip on the throttle side. Let's do that. I'm going to tuck these wires out of the way here, just like so. And that's all there is to that. So let me get reorganized here and we'll get this uh, other side switched out. All right, so now over here on the throttle side, I'm going to go and get our brake lever removed. Yeah, I know I did this in a little bit of back password order. I should have swapped this out before I did the battery connections. I'm just kind of working in a circle here. We're going to remove this. cover should slide off and that's about as far as you really need to go with this and your stock grips going to come right out just like so and what you have to do there's a little plug right here on the end we need to pop that little plug out because that's where our electrical connection goes for a throttle by wire to put our heat in so you just pop that out like so Then on your other grip, you got a cover. Have to pop that cover loose and pull this wire out to where you can get to it because you have to plug it into here. And get an idea of the orientation of it here. What we're going to do now is make sure we get this lined up to match the other one. I think that's probably about it. Let's see. Yep, there it is right there. So, at this point, we're going to have to go in and plug this in. And it helps use either a real small pair of needle nose or even some hemostats like this. And you can clip on this little tab right here. Get those pins lined up and put it in just like so. You push your wires in there. they're out of the way because you got to put that cap back on you take your cap and put it back in place that's it now it's just a matter of putting it back together all right that's all there is to that so now the left side is on and next thing to do is make sure they're going to work All right, so that pretty much completes the installation here. I did test them. Uh, the one thing I'm not too keen about is the fact that they are wired hot to the battery. So you gotta make sure whenever you park your bike, you turn your grips off. I may experiment with hooking up to the other cable, you know, the purple cable coming off of there to see if it is truly heat ignition. But I just went ahead and did it as the instructions called for. Uh, there's nothing stating what the amperage limits are on those wires coming out 
There's nothing in the, in the adapter kit that says so or anything on the grips themselves that say so. So I went ahead and just uh, wired it up as it said. There's a clean installation here. I tucked everything away. There's my fuse holder for the grips. Everything's out of the way back to normal. So now all I got left to do is put my fairing back up, put the tank back on, my side covers and my seat and call it done. So I appreciate you for joining me again. I hope this helps you out. Uh, I looked around on YouTube for a long time in the past week and haven't found a single video of anything from uh, 2019s and newer, actually for 2017s and newer, uh, as far as heated grip installations. Uh, you can see a couple of videos showing how to put the accessory wire kit on, and that's pretty much it. Um, so thanks again. I appreciate you joining me. Be sure to leave me a comment below if there's any questions I might get asked, answer. Uh, or for that matter, I might even ask a question down there in the bottom. Who knows? But be sure to subscribe, like the video, and share it with your friends. Thanks for joining me.